What's up, blockheads, and welcome to an episode where we're going to be talking about some Rurock products for the Atlas line of helmets. So Rurock sent over a package, and in that package we've got a chin curtain. So new chin curtains for the Atlas line of helmets. They sent two, one for me, one for Miss Block. Miss Block said, I don't want one because I can't vape. You guys give her hell for that. They also sent visors. So we got a couple visors. I think we got a red one. And I think we got like a different one, but we'll be unboxing those or unpackaging those, which we'll need our little visor tool for that. And the product that you guys are going to be most excited about, the Shockwave from Rorock. This is basically the Bluetooth communicator that fits into this helmet inside of that little spot right there. In this video, unboxing this, going over it. This is obviously the focus. You guys know what a chin curtain does. You guys know what different colored visors do. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the shockwave, how to install it. And we do have another one from Miss Blockhead's helmet. Test them out, give you guys some feedback. This video, it's gonna be the first look, unboxing, install, and we'll go from there. So, hey, if you guys enjoy content like this, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, be part of that bell yes squad. Go ahead and roll that intro. All right, so whenever working on a helmet, helps if you have one of these helmet donuts, right? So that you're not just scratching the helmet up and stuff. And then for this, you need these little screwdrivers, right? So I'll grab some of those. But first, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this thing. Check it out. Firstly, love the packaging. You've got that flat black with the gloss black graphics. Always classy. Side note, you guys will have to forgive the mess here. I know I'm doing this on the table in our place because uh, we're, we're packing up, we're moving. Um, we're closing on a house here in a few days. So just uh, trying to get this knocked out. So yeah, let's open this thing up, check it out. Ooh, very nice. I like it, nice packaging. So you got a little booklet here, which is the Shockwave instruction manual. Then let's see in here, you've got the shockwave unit. This looks like the uh, ears, like the earpieces, the speakers, and the microphone. And then you've got like a USB plug as well. USB plug. The actual unit. Pretty crazy. That little unit basically fits right into there. And then speakers, anything else? Nope. All right, so main unit piece, instructions, USB cable, and microphone, speakers. That's what comes in it. And then of course the, uh, the plug plugs into right here. And you get this little metal piece which is the metal piece for there. So let me go ahead and grab a little screwdriver. We'll get that unscrewed. So these aren't very deep. Obviously you do not want to lose these. So put them somewhere where they're not gonna like roll away and stuff. Also don't strip them. And that piece just removes. So you basically have this piece, which will replace that piece, right? So this one you've got volume up, volume down, You've got some functionality buttons, and then you've got like the USB charge area. Pretty cool. This little piece here, I just watched a video, which I'll drop in this video if uh, Real Rock will let me. This piece here is actually an antenna. So basically the antenna runs through this line somewhere into the helmet. So that's pretty badass. So yeah, basically at this point, gonna undo the fit lock. Uh, we're going to pull back the comfort liner. And you're also going to pull back the ear pieces. All right, and then there is going to be a small hole, which you guys can see right there in the uh, in the liner. So what you're gonna do is they say to take, take these, put this end through that little small hole. So you see it in here. You're gonna pull it till it's even with the antenna, just like that. Then 
I'm going to take this piece, you're going to plug the antenna piece in, which is that one. You're going to plug it into this one right here, and then you're going to plug the speakers and microphone into this one right here. So after you have those connected, you're going to line it back up and place it back in. Pulling on the wire here so it doesn't bunch up. So whenever you get it sat in here without the screws, there are two little clips here and here that clip into place, kind of helping to secure it, so that's good. So now we're gonna put the little tiny screws back in. All right, so screws are back in. It's all installed, snugged in. Now you have all this, right? So you've got two speakers, which already have like this uh, Velcro material on the back of them. If you notice in the ear area, right there, they actually already have some Velcro. There. So this basically sticks right to it. They say to put it in the middle, but they do have a little extra up or down, depending on where your ears set in your helmet, you can adjust it. So, bam, set those right there. Easy as that. Same with the other side, grab that one, bam, there you go. It's nice, it's nice that the wires run on the inside, right? It's my motor vlog mic, get that out of the way for now. Okay, so next, go ahead and run the microphone. So the microphone here, it is connected to some Velcro already, see that? So this piece of the microphone is like the, uh, like the dead cat, the pop filter or whatever, and it has the uh, Velcro built onto it it's already put on a piece of Velcro. So all you're gonna need to do is take off this back adhesive, or this back um, that will expose the adhesive, and then you're gonna put the microphone right into here. I said go underneath the strap here. So basically, since the helmet's upside down, this would be underneath. So we're gonna go there. There we go. So microphone installed. Man, I gotta say, <laughs> it's crazy easy to install this thing. Super convenient, they've already got everything kind of laid out, you know, so they've got the Velcro in here already on both sides for the speakers. They've got the antenna attachment. Seriously, it's like you run the wiring up through here, you connect the antenna, you connect the 3.5 millimeter, you basically slide the unit in, it clips in, you do the screws, place both of the earpieces, place the mic, and then replace your padding. So right now, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna replace the padding and then We'll charge it, then we'll continue the video. So I'm just gonna put it all back together right now. What is it, micro USB or mini USB? I forget, I think it's micro USB. There we go, all plugged in. So I'd assume these are indicator lights, but I'll read the directions, figure it all out. But I'm gonna let this charge and once it's all good to go, we'll be back to power it up and uh, maybe try it out. All right, right back. Check it, just installed Miss Blockheads. And once you know how to do the install and you just do it without recording, seriously, it took me maybe five minutes, if that, to get this installed. The hardest part is getting the padding out of the way so you can run the speakers and the wires, but seriously. Unscrew, hook all that up, run the wiring, and that's it. It's crazy easy to install this shockwave from your phone. You can listen to music, you can take calls, make phone calls, listen, like use your GPS and all that stuff. I guess the only way that we'd be able to like communicate since it can take and receive calls would be like Miss Blockhead would have hers on, I would have mine on, and then we would just call each other while doing a ride. So we'd basically be connected via phone call. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mine's charged up. So whenever it's charged, I guess the little light turns off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair mine to my phone real quick. Uh, so let's do that. All right, so they basically say to press the button for five seconds until it turns on. So it says power on. All right, so that's pairing. AKA police officer mode. So I'm gonna go into my Bluetooth settings. And here at the bottom we have Atlas Shockwave. Yep. So the helmet just said successful. <laughs> All right, so let's try and play some music. Bring up Pandora. Been listening to some 80s lately. It works. So volume up, this is plus. Volume down, this is minus. Oh shit, if you double tap it, it skips. We got some Stevie Nicks. 
So yeah, volume up, volume down. Well, seems to work. It's connected to the phone. I'll have to figure out the rest of the stuff. All right, there you go, Block Fam. That is how you install, set up, and uh, pair a Atlas Shockwave from Rurock. Shockwave to phone works great. I was able to listen to music. I was able to say like, hey Siri, and give it some commands. Probably one of the most seamless Bluetooth setups I've ever installed in a helmet reaching back and uh, using the buttons. I mean, you can feel it pretty well barehanded. I'm kind of interested to see how it's gonna feel with gloves. I'll do a uh, like a first ride review. Anyways, if you guys are interested in this, you're interested in a Real Rock helmet, you guys can go to their site at realrock.com and if you use discount code blockhead, it will save you a good bit of money. So you guys be sure to go there, use discount code blockhead. I'll drop the link to the shockwave as well as to the helmet and to Real Rock in general down in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button if you're not subscribed. Hit subscribe, hit that bell icon also, so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, you guys ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, just messing around with this shockwave thing. Shockwave? Yeah, the Bluetooth thing for Atlas. Oh, is that why you're trying to call me? Um, apparently, if you touch the volume up button twice quickly, it calls the last person that you called. Oh, I was like, I just looked down at my phone, I'm like, oh my god, I think there's an emergency. Yeah, what well, was it, like three <laughs> missed calls or something? Yeah, it scared me, I was like, what happened? Yeah, it kept on calling you. Like, I looked down at the phone and I'm like, huh, it's calling her, or, or is she calling me? Because when I hit the button, it basically brought up the menu. It's like, would you like to take this like on your, on the shockwave, on the phone, or speaker? And so I like, I hit speaker and then I called you and I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I'm so confused. Oh my god, I got so worried. I thought maybe we went riding to try it out or something, and I don't know. No, oh, it was a total accident. I'm sitting here messing with the buttons, but okay. you know, apparently it happened. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. It's no worries. <laughs> well, I'm going to head home shortly, and then can I just um, let you know when I'm on my way and you can order food? That way I could be there. Uh, Yeah, that works. You hungry? I'm so hungry, love. I'm so starving. Yeah, I can do that. Then we can watch The Bachelorette. I'm so excited. I've been thinking about it all day. <laughs> well, get home. All right, I'll be home soon. All right, I love you. All right, love you too. Bye. Bye.